got to know the difference between position, displacement, and distance. Position is where an object sits on an axis. So if I were to draw an x-axis down here, that's the plus x direction in centimeters. There's the origin. Then you would just describe it mathematically by x, the variable x, as a function of time. So if the chalk sits at this position, say 40 centimeters, then x equals 40 centimeters. Displacement is a change in position. So say the chalk sat at 40 and then moved to 55. We could say it went here, changed to there, a displacement. Simply a change in position. Since it's a change, we define it as delta x. And in physics, changes are always final minus initial. Don't become a casualty of causality and get that backwards. x position final minus position initial. Now displacements have a direction associated with them. You can displace to the right or you can displace to the left, so displacement is a vector. So I'll put a little vector hat there. And for the right side, I'll make it a vector by adding a unit vector i hat. So hopefully you're comfortable with unit vectors. That basically just means it's on the x direction. So if it's a positive number in front of i hat, points in the positive x direction. A negative number in front of i hat points to the negative x direction. So for this displacement, we can solve for delta x the displacement vector. It is final 15 minus initial 40. So I'm sorry, 55 minus 40 is 15 i hat centimeters is that displacement vector. Finally, there is distance. Distance is just how uh, far, far an object travels. And mathematically, we call it d. The best way to illustrate the difference between distance and displacement is with an example. So let's imagine the chalk starts at 40, goes to 70, and then comes back to 55. All right, so it kind of does a path like this and stops. The distance doesn't care about positive or negative or the direction. The distance just adds up how far does the chalk feel like it went. So it went from 40 to 70, went 30, and then it went another 15. It went from 70 to 55. So the distance of that path is 45 centimeters. But the displacement of that path, displacement doesn't care about how you got there. Displacement just cares about final and initial. So for this path, the displacement is actually the same as it was before. The final's 15, the initial's 40. So distance cares about the path, displacement does not. Finally, one more thing about these uh, descriptions is there's one thing we've got to add. Position is actually a vector. In some of our derivations we're going to do, and later in books, you'll see position described as a vector. And the reason it's a vector is, really, if you don't have an origin, position doesn't mean anything. Positions only mean something relative to an origin. So the position is really the displacement from the origin. So as we move forward, there'll be many times where we need to describe position as a vector, because it really is a vector. It's a displacement from the origin. In that sense, these two are kind of similar. Distance is the unique one, because it doesn't care about direction. It's not a vector.